Hi, this is Randy Rice of RiceConsulting.com and Rice Consulting Services. So I want to ask and answer the question today, what is software testing? Perhaps you've been in software testing for some time now and you get that question from your relatives and you try to explain it to them and their eyes kind of glaze over, kind of like my relatives do. So I understand it's, for some reason, the word software and testing cause confusion in people's mind. Or you may be totally new to this idea of, of software testing and be thinking about it as a career field. You might want to get into software testing. So I thought I'd share a few ideas and concepts with you about software testing. Uh, and interestingly enough, this question always comes up at the testing conferences where we have hundreds of software testing practitioners. But we have different ways of seeing it, uh, seeing what the thing about software testing really is. I think it's because there are so many perspectives and so many purposes for reasons that we would want to test software. Basically, I tell people, you know, I'll find an, a recent example of a software failure. Like, you know, I'll say, do you remember hearing in the news last week when United Airlines was selling tickets for a dollar plus tax? And they say, yeah, yeah, I heard about that story. And I say, well, I help people in those companies, those types of companies avoid those kind of problems in real life. And they get it then. They they understand about, oh yeah, yeah, make sure there's no problems before we go live. So over the years, I think people have attached a variety of definitions to testing and it's not that any of them are particularly wrong. It's just that we all have, as I said, different perspectives on what we're trying to do. For, for some people, Software testing is trying to uh, find all the bugs possible, all the defects possible. And so they take a very, very detailed view through the software. Some people try to get very exotic and crazy with the software and break it by doing extreme things to it, extreme amounts of entry into the software, into the input fields and stuff. Uh, one form uh, is something I used to do a lot as a developer, uh, and that is to look at it as the idea that I want to prove that something works. Now, the problem with that is that if I have just the right data and just the right conditions, I can prove that a lot of things work. But then what would happen would be my user would come along and try it, and they'd break it like in a minute by doing something that I hadn't expected. Another thing that you may be concerned with is, does the software meet your user's needs? It may meet some other groups of users' needs, but maybe not your user's needs. You may also have to determine if it complies to a standard, like a financial standard or some kind of safety-critical standard or something. And overall, though, really what we're doing is we're measuring the level of quality in an item, and whether it be judging that by defects or by just mere evaluation of how people are using the software. Uh, ultimately, what we are doing is measuring, and we're measuring that level of software in a way that people can make decisions about can we unleash it and deliver it to our users. So one definition I'll put to this, and it's a kind of a wordy definition, but this is the ISTQB definition of software testing. And I've read several different definitions. And I think this one is pretty good, although once again, it is pretty wordy. But it goes that the process consisting of all life cycle activities, now that tells you that it's not in a vacuum, right? There's everything from requirements through delivery, both static and dynamic which means that testing can be done either in an environment, under load, that kind of thing in a dynamic test, or you may just be looking at a document, which would be a static test. Concerned with planning, preparation, and evaluation of software products and related work products. So you see it's not just using the software, it's planning for the test, it's evaluating the test, and it may be even more than the thing that you're testing itself. It may be the uh, a set of requirements. It may be uh, a set of user stories that you're basing the test on. And then there's two things at the end of this definition. To determine that they satisfy specified requirements. Okay, that's kind of a verification idea. And to demonstrate that they are fit for purpose and to detect defects. So the fit for purpose comes in that, yeah, there may be requirements 
and there may be defects about those requirements, but does it work for us anyway? And then also, this third purpose is to detect defects and to find what some people call bugs. Now, in a follow-up video, I'll talk about bugs versus defects versus, versus failures and those kind of things. I prefer the term defect because I think it's a bit more standard and conveys the seriousness of what we're looking for. So once again, this idea here is that software testing is about more than just running tests uh, that as part of testing. But once again, we have the planning and we have the evaluation, we have the reporting, we have a lot of other things around it. We have the management of, of software testing. So if you break it into kind of like all the various tasks, you can see things like planning and control, choosing the conditions to test, creating test cases, checking your results, uh, determining if the evaluation criteria has been met. You know, that's how you're going to judge pass-fail of something. Reporting on the testing process and the thing that you're testing. And then, very important, is how do you close out the test? Do you need to save some things? Do you need to hand some things off to other people? So that, in a nutshell, is really what software testing is about. And just about every project, every company needs to do this. Unfortunately, uh, very few people do do this. Even the, the very small mobile applications that we see, uh, you'll see some of them have one star, some of them have five stars. Well, a lot of that is about quality. And everything, all the way from the simplest items all the way up to the most complex items and safety critical items that we deal with every day, need to have software testing performed. If you want more information about software testing, how it's performed, how you can learn more about testing, come on over to my website at riceconsulting.com. Thanks again. This has been Randy Rice.